My name is Ben Hanneman, and this is Coffee with Compassion. Good Easter Monday morning, everyone. I pray you had a blessed Easter weekend. I'm going to jump right in here with both feet this morning with a story and a word that I pray will be an encouragement to you on this journey that we're all taking together. Years ago, my dad had a, a sailboat. His first sailboat was about 16 feet, uh, but it was big enough to have a sleeper cabin on it. And uh, one year, he and my youngest brother, Daniel, took an overnight trip on Sutton's Bay. That's way up in the northern part of Michigan where it, uh, it's cold most of the year, but they had an awesome time. During this trip, a storm came up, and things got really bad. In fact, so bad one time that my dad had to get off the boat and steady the boat and try to get it back in the surf by uh, guiding it by hand. During the worst part of that storm, my brother, he was probably 13, 14 years old at the time, he wanted to stay out on deck with Dad. But Dad said, no, you better get on the get the life vest on and get down below and try to stay calm. Try to stay calm. Yeah, right, Dad. <laughs> anyway, my brother did do his best, and he said he kept himself calm by singing a song. And here in a minute, I'll tell you what that song was. But, you know, King David in the Bible knew a little something about storms, didn't he? In fact, much of his writing was asking God to get him out of one storm or another. Uh, in the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter 46 we read one of the greatest passages written when it comes to, com to comforting scriptures. And it says, be still and know that I am God. I'm going to unpack this verse here in about a minute or so. Uh, we have that, we, starting out, we have that phrase, be still, right? Just like my brother had to be still and focus on, um, on our father, sometimes we as Christians need to be still, and even in our current situation, and focus on our Heavenly Father. Now, being still does three things. It renews our strength, it regenerates our spirit, and it refreshes our focus. So what does being still look like to us in our everyday life? Well, that's kind of up to you. If you have small children, it may look like having them memorize a scripture, like this one, for instance. For others, it may just be a matter of taking a breath now and then, 30 seconds or so, and collecting your thoughts. Now, if you're a healthcare worker, first of all, thank you. For you, as a healthcare worker, it might mean just grabbing a minute or two to collect your thoughts and to thank and praise God for his blessings in your life. There really isn't a secret formula. It's really up to you as to how you uh, keep still and be still. The second part of the verse talks about knowing and knowing that God is God. Now, knowing something or someone gives us confidence, doesn't it? Remember when you were in school and you had a test coming up and you studied and studied and studied and you knew the information cold? You walked into the room with, a, with an air of confidence, didn't you, right? If you didn't know the stuff, you would walk in there with hands ringing, pulse a little higher, blood pressure a little higher, things like that, and worry was at the forefront of your mind. Or let's say you're on a hike and you don't know where you're going. That's when the anxiety would, would start all over again, right? It's the same way with God. Being still or pausing and having confidence that God is God strengthens us, doesn't it? Here's something else to keep in mind as I close. All of this that's going on right now does not catch God off guard by any means. He's not worried. He's not stressed. He loves us. He loves you. He loves me. He's not wringing his hands. We do that ourselves, don't we, and do a pretty good job of it. But God has so much more for us at this time. So, just like Jesus in the boat with his disciples, be still. Just like my brother on the boat with, with our dad, be still. And just like all of us on the quarantine train, be still. Be still and know that he is God. Is it time to drop the mic yet? I don't know. Oh, by the way, that song my brother was singing, Peter Gabriel, in your eyes. That just might preach. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you this morning, God, for your reminder. Lord, your reminder that we can be still and we can know that you are God. Lord, thank you for the comfort that that brings us. Thank you for the time, that God, that we're in, that we're going to come out of it with flying colors and a great testimony as to your grace and your glory. God, take us out of ourselves into your Holy Spirit so that we can be a blessing to others for your glory. 
in Jesus' name. Thanks for watching, and be sure to share this video.